Hey everyone, Sean here with Roadrunner Sports, and today I'm excited to present another series, this time focusing on my favorite fall activity, trail running. This two-part series will focus on our most asked questions about trail shoes, as well as highlighting the top five trail shoes of the year. I have so many amazing memories from high school and college cross country running in the trails, so what better time than now to get you inspired to go out and hit the dirt? In this segment, we're gonna tackle the top five most asked questions about trail shoes. Let's dive in. Number one, should I get a trail running shoe? If you plan to run on trails at all, the answer is absolutely yes. Why? Trail shoes have better traction, so they're gonna keep you safe on all the different types of terrain you're gonna be running on, Plus, it's gonna save the lifespan of your training shoes because you're not gonna wear them out by running on two different surfaces. Number two, what's the difference between a trail shoe and a road shoe? There's actually quite a bit. First off, there's more traction. The outsoles are aggressively knobbed, designed to better grip across a variety of surfaces. The outsole is also a little thicker. This delivers extra durability for rough terrain. They also have reinforced uppers in key spots to protect your feet from any sort of debris or punctures. There's also the gusseted tongue, which will help keep dirt, debris, and rocks out of the inside of your shoe, which all leads to a blister-free and more comfortable run. The best trail shoes might also have a few more bells and whistles, such as rock plates, aggressive outer lugs, waterproof membranes, reinforced overlays, lace pockets, or even gator tabs. Number three, how do you choose a trail shoe? It's best to determine what you need based on what terrain you're gonna be running on, and we recommend asking yourselves the following questions. Do you run relatively flat, or are you hoping to run on technical hilly trails? Do you need more cushioning, or do you prefer an on-the-ground feel? Do you live in a wetter climate, where you might need a little more traction? Are you using this for a daily runner, racing, shorter runs, or longer runs? Answering these questions will help you pinpoint the shoe that's right for your activity. Here are a few features to look for with your preferences in mind. Let's start with cushioning. A lower profile shoe is gonna have a nice on the ground feel with very little padding, where an extra cushion shoe is gonna give you that nice responsive feel under your feet. There's also minimalist and moderate options that are in between these two extremes as well. Let's look at the heel to toe drop. A lower heel drop will encourage more of a forefoot and efficient running style. However, if you're not used to that, it can take some time to transition. We recommend going with something that's similar to what you're running on your trail and road shoes. And lastly, we wanna talk about structure. Depending on what type of surface you're running on, you may get away with a little less rugged outsole, where if you're really taking on some technical terrain, you're gonna want something that's super aggressive and keep you protected. For rugged off-road adventures, a supportive upper with stiff builds and thick multi-directional lugs are gonna do the trick wonderfully. Number four, can you wear your trail shoes on the road? It's really recommended not to because you're gonna wear down those lugs a lot quicker on the concrete than you would on the trail. Also, the cushioning types are not gonna be adequate for the road and may cause some injuries if you're doing it on a daily basis. Beyond that, the rock plate can also wreak havoc when you're running on the asphalt. Number five, should I wear my trail shoes in the gym? This is an absolute no. We recommend picking up a pair of cross training shoes for the gym. They offer better support for lateral movement and are optimized balance for weightlifting. A trail shoe is gonna to be too bulky, position you weird, and just not perform how you need it to when you're at the gym. We hope we answered all your trail running shoe questions, but if not, stop by one of our stores or give us a call and a fit expert will walk you through anything you need to know. Or leave your questions or comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. As always, check back next week for more tips to help you make every mile count.